Hey guys, Brad Carter here. Today I want to talk a little bit about camera selection. You get asked that a lot. It seems like almost every time we drop a video, somebody asks me, hey, what camera did you use on that hunt? So my favorite types of cameras for hunting are DSLRs and what they call bridge cameras because um, they can take awesome stills and and great video at the same time. And the feel of the video you get from a DSLR is a little bit different than what you get from something else. And so that's just personally what I choose. Now DSLRs are great and for, the, for this year I carry two cameras with me all the time. The one that I'm filming with is a Sony a6000. Um, it's a mirrorless camera from Sony. It'd be considered a DSLR. It uses interchangeable lenses and so the biggest drawback to DSLRs is if you want to shoot a long shot, so if you're setting up to make a rifle shot, even an archery shot, and you want to zoom in, you have to carry a big lens. So that's kind of prohibitive for those of us who spend a lot of time in the backcountry and don't have a cameraman with us necessarily. So. That's why I really like the bridge cameras. And this is the camera that we've used since, geez, about 2013. If you can check that out. It's a Panasonic Lumix um, FZ200. Now, a bridge camera, this is an older model. They aren't really making it anymore. The new one's the FZ1000. Uh, the thing I like about this camera has a 25x optical zoom, so you really can get out there and get some good footage. Like I filmed my 260-yard uh, shot on my Wyoming mule deer this year with this. Um, so the bridge-style cameras are going to have a long lens. It's almost like a a big point-and-shoot. You can see the body is about the size of a DSLR, but it has a lens that can zoom way out like that. So you're gonna have 25x on this camera um, without having to carry a big big lens like you would if you were using a DSLR. These also take great stills. If you were gonna pick one camera to take with you all the time I would definitely consider a bridge camera. Films that we've made with this camera right here are Glimpse which is a short Utah muzzleloader elk hunt, um, Sage Pursuit, which is an antelope hunt film that we put in the Outdoor Film Festival in 2013 or 14, spring of 2014, and uh, it you know it does it does a really good job. It's not like it's it's the best at anything, but it's kind of a jack of all trades and does a lot of stuff really well. So if you're looking for one camera that's going to take care of all your needs, I'd definitely look at one of those. If I was buying a new bridge camera right now, um, which it's probably almost time to update. There's two that I'd look at. So yeah, the, so the HV400 from Sony has a 50x zoom. It features a Zeiss lens, so it's, it's a really nice lens. It's got attachments for like an external microphone, a hot shoe attachment on top, where you can put uh, you know flashes or, or things like that. Audio is really important, like a road mic or a directional mic of some kind. Really increases your... Um, your uh, final edits your production quality a lot and so that one's cool I mean, it's gonna have twice the power of the Panasonic that I have been using it'd be an awesome camera and the second one I would look at is made by Nikon it's the P900 um, the P900 is pretty incredible it has an 83x optical zoom so I mean you're even outside the realm of like your 80 millimeter spotters um, and it's gonna be really clear and you can zoom in forever so that's one you can you know you can take kill shots with really well record them um, just keep that one camera with you you can do all your kind of your interviews your face it you know your vlogging type style stuff and uh, you just be set to go with either of those so guys check those out I think if you want one camera and don't want to mess with anything else that's the way to go for sure now if you want to get a little bit higher quality stuff, look at the DSLRs. Um, in my opinion, Sony's making great video uh, equipment right now. You know, Canon and Nikon do too. 
Um, but the thing that's kind of setting Sony apart, especially like their new camera, the uh, A7S II, is their ISO uh, range is really high. And so they perform really well in low light conditions. So that's the one, if you can afford it, I check it out. I've been happy with the A6000. One that's kind of in between is the A6300. It has a, a rugged sealed body, which is great for outdoor use, especially when you're hunting or fishing or, or hiking, you know, and you come into inclement weather. So anyway, guys, I'll put links in the description of this video uh, to each of these cameras on Amazon where you can check them out. I also just published an article on AltitudeOutdoors.com that goes through these cameras that I mentioned today as well as a few others. Um, so yeah, you can check that out. Links in the description below. Uh, please subscribe by clicking this button right here. Um, and please leave us a comment, questions, whatever. And if you are filming your hunts, I'd love to hear about your equipment. So leave me a comment and we'll check them out. So thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in until next time. Hunt the high country.